Ride's good. Thanks, dude. So we're checking out a lake. <laughs> Uh, trying to look for loads, lots of loads out there, but um, Coyote just like made one disappear that I bit on, so let's see what happens. But I'm gonna get this kid off my back <clears throat> and go get another one. <sighs> Is that fun, Lighthouse? Oh, me? Yeah. yeah. Oh, me? Sorry, I'm, I'm in a big <sighs> well, We gotta get home and get a load now. Let's see what happens. All right, you ready? Are you ready? All right. And we had Grandma make a cameo. She came down. Did you have fun at the lake house, Grandma? I did. Good, good. Did you have fun with the donuts? I had a blast. Their checklist was quite extensive, too. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> like, do this, do that. We're like, all right, all right, we got it. Okay, let's go put the boat on the trailer. Are you still on my back? Yeah. Oh, I forgot you were right back there. Yeah. There you are. <laughs> it's pretty cool. The uh, boat launch was right across the way from the house. <laughs> she said right across the way. We didn't realize it was that close. Literally, you could swim over to it if you're a good swimmer. But um, C.S. Robinson has the uh, solar panel loads going down to Vero Beach. So I guess they don't like the coyote prices. And coyote made that load disappear, but it reappeared. So we'll see if we get that one. It's like kind of by Jacksonville. But yeah, you'll see right up here that our house is right to the right over here. <laughs> and then J.B. Hunt has a bunch of loads. There's a lot of loads, a lot of volume. Why would you park your car right there? We need that room to turn around. But all good. We can still make it happen. Let's back this thing in. I think we're good at backing for some reason. We have some some uh, practice. Practice makes perfect. What do you see, Kason? I see fish. We see fish, huh? All right. Yeah, literally. Uh, I'll come see him. What's up, Grandma? Hey. The house is right across the way, so we could have swam here. <laughs> here comes T Dubs. Look at her making her maiden voyage. Let's get this thing on the trailer. Okay, guys, here she comes. I got, Kason, you gotta stay in the car, bubs. Put it in gear and turn that way a little bit. And then go straight, keep it in gear. There you go, she's got it. Yeah, put it in gear, turn it that way. Turn it all the way to the left. And then take it out of gear. Now get the wheel straight, put it in gear for a second. And then take it out of gear. And then turn still, you can still turn. Turn that way a little bit. Look at you, T-Dubs. Man, all right. Way to be. Well, we made it back. Uh, T-Dubs parked the truck amazingly on the side of the house. Yeah. <laughs> I got to be careful because I'll pop a tire. I got to fill this in still, but I haven't had time. So we got a load, though. C.H. Robinson came through. My guy uh, has a uh, Dodgers appointment. What are you doing in here? Cleaning out the, the, the graziness? Yeah. Ooh, have three kids. It'd be awesome. It's disgusting. Stuff everywhere. But anyways, um, yeah, he's like, hey, are you tanker endorsed? What's that? I said they're disgusting, but they're worth They're it. fun. He said, hey, are you tanker endorsed? It's his... Uh, Apprentice, um, Cameron. So thanks, Cameron. He's, I was like, yes, sir. And he's like, all right, we got you. Got your load. Grandma's hanging out here still a little bit. We're going to jump in the race truck. Or actually, we're going to take T-Dub's car over there and get this load picked up. And I can drop the boat on the way there. So let's get that. But it's a little uh, hank of load. Picking up in Greenville. Going over south of Atlanta. Yeah. Okay. But there's nothing in there. We're playing hide the Skittle gummies. Okay. Yeah, yeah. What is this? So I, I was in a live feed. Big Rig Radio Network, guys. Check him out. He's I'll a big, you up. <laughs> he's a big uh, advocate of one to three load board. How cool is this? So uh, I've won a little uh, guess between 100, um, one and 100. So do I get to keep it from my Starbies? If you want to. And then here, awesome. can you open this for me? Yeah. Thank you. Thank I, uh, you. Oh, I like that. was doing my floors and I disassembled my gear shifter in the old 18 speed. Oh, Just pop over the top. There you go. Um, Yes, yeah, so we did oh, a whole new, whole new shifter assembly, guys. Nice. So we'll put that bad boy in there. And yeah, thanks a lot. Uh, I forget his name. It's, I think it's Jeffrey. Thanks a lot, man. Oh, this is cool. There we go. We got a new shifter. This is cool. But I got to put my new, uh, my new top on the top. Can you hold it? I love it. There you go. Hey, push it down. Change, change the high range, low range. Ooh, or just pull that off. There you go. 
but that's what we need. This part I took apart on accident, so uh, yeah, let's go pick up this load. Yeah, so that comes off, and that one goes on. There you go, right there. There you go, and we need to get a red one. Well, I guess we'll keep the orange one until then. Yeah, and then this is gonna replace the top piece. See? See how that goes on there? Let me see. This will go on there like that. Isn't that cool? <laughs> What's that? I take the screws off first. All right. It's cool though, huh? I'll show you. Okay, let's get this stuff over to the white truck. We'll use uh, Zoe, whatever. If you want to check out about some kind of pillows, check out T Dub's channel. We did a review on these things, or an opening review. But we got to get all this new stuff over to the. Uh, white truck as my sons call it what? we're using one of your boxes oh hello okay. because i don't want to drop any of this stuff and this is my new mattress we got to put in there can you put that in the back of the escalator yeah, sure. please thank you i'll bring this thing so there we go we got that in there a little bit pricey check out t-dub's life feed like i said uh i spent about 160 on that twin xl mattress and uh, this kid's coming with me you want to come with me bring a bait to rough up too? Okay. Let's get this thing going. Check out 3BB also, our new channel for the boys. The good old supercharger. All right, let's go get this load picked up. All right, come on. Let's go start the white truck. Let's get that old mattress out of there, okay? Because we got a new one. Is it bright out here? It is bright out here. <laughs> come on, you got it? All right, let's start this thing. Okay, just one click. A little more. Right there. Now wait till it makes all the noises. Click, 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 click. It's priming the fuel pump right now. And once it all stops, I'll tell you to click it, okay? Ready? Go ahead. Hard, turn oh, it hard. Start it? Yeah, start it, turn it hard and hold it. All right, it's good. Thanks, dude. Okay, let's get that old mattress out. No, no, go in the back. <laughs> go in the back. There you go, watch your step. Step down. Yeah, you can get up there. We gotta get that mattress out though, okay? I can do it. Oh, you can do it? You can climb? Yes. All right, climb, climb, climb. Good job, Bubba. Okay, All right, now we gotta get the mattress off though that you just climbed up on. Let's get a new one in here. That's the old one. We're gonna put it out the doors on the side. Okay? Push it out. See you later, mattress. Push. Good <laughs> job, dude. All right, let's open this thing up, okay? <laughs> Is it more cozy? Yeah, yeah I got to be honest, you guys. It's a little bit uh, wider than it should be, but hey, I'd rather have the wide. But I'm going to have to put something in the middle to keep it up. But yeah, I want the bigger. Nice mattress, Bubba. Whoa, dude. All right, turn it off. Thanks, Bubba. Straight out. Not, don't pull, don't pull too hard. Okay, there you go. Thank you, Bubba. Let's get out of here. Mosquito Joe coming in from the right side, and it is 87 degrees out here. Feels a little humid, though. Um, coming over the 85 right now. Oh, there you go, Mazda. Get in there. There you go. Coming over the 85 right now, and uh, heading up to Pleasant Burr. W900, we're getting that gear shifter back on. I just want to get up here and get this loaded. They load till 3.30. It's about 2 o'clock right now. I've loaded here a couple times before, so. Go get loaded, get back down there, and they'll probably leave early morning so I miss Atlanta traffic to get through to McDonough. McDonough. And that's actually where Patrick uh, and Michelle live, with the people that helped me do the floor. Thank you, and uh, maybe I'll meet them for lunch some if I have time. Who knows? I might, I might probably try to get another load on the truck. We'll see uh, what we got going on because Atlanta is a time a time crunch. You want to make sure you're not uh, getting stuck there after yeah 12, 31 o'clock. Traffic starts building up even on a Tuesday, so got to be, be careful about that. But yeah, we're not. A lot of people want a uh, W9 update. The white truck. We're getting that shifter redone. I want all the, the chambers replaced on it. I would do it myself. I just really don't have the time. Uh, get all the brake chambers replaced. Uh, check all the shoes and uh, check all the drums, or the liners, they call them, not shoes. And 
just make sure everything's up and up on it. And then we got to get the green APU going on it. We got to talk to the company and figure out exactly how we're going to work everything. Here we go. Here we go for BMW. Just go ahead and pull on in there. Take that. There you go, buddy. Brand new plate on it. Uh huh. Those BMWs are actually made right here in, in Greenville, South Carolina, right to our right, about six, seven miles. All the X platforms, all the SUVs. I'm rambling, but anyways, yeah, W900, get all that top notch, get the APU work up top notch. That bed, oh my goodness, it looks, it's comfortable as heck up there. It does take away from the room from the top of the sleeper, but I don't wake up in the middle of the night and hit my head on anything, so uh, I'll, I'll probably be sleeping up there on because everyone gives me horror stories about the couch. So I'll probably get some wood, plank out the bottom of that thing so it's nice and firm and uh, sleep up there on that memory foam mattress. I'm glad I got the 10 inch memory foam, not the 12 inch, because I would have lost another two inches to the ceiling, so. <laughs> but I'll be sleeping up there when I'm by myself, and then when we take family trips, uh, probably have two of them on the bottom, and then uh, I'll sleep up top. If we have the babies or whatever we got going on, we'll just get a hotel. But t up and I, at least, she'll be able to be comfy up there, and I'll be on the bottom probably, or maybe she'll be on the bottom, who knows. But W900 is almost ready to go. We just did our IRP for the Volvo, and it was just over 1100 bucks, so not bad for an IRP, International Registration Plan. That's what that is. It's like a registration for your truck every year. You have to get a 20. Sorry about that. Phone overheated. Uh, sitting on a dash. It's now 89 degrees instead of 87. So I turned into defrost mode with the uh, AC up there. Exit of Pleasant Burb. But yeah, 2290 is what I was talking about. It's a tax form for the IRS. Uh, you have to have that in order before you can get your IRP. Uh, cab card, they call it. It's like your, your registration for your truck. So you're gonna need to get that 2290 figured out first, which is just asking you pretty much how many miles you've run, which areas, and just if you've changed anything on your truck, that kind of stuff, how many trucks you have. So, yeah, baby. Uh, let me, let me, I'll show you once I get when we get to where we're going, okay? Try and beat the level you're on. And there's, chips. there's chips on there. Oh, oh, there is a chip truck. You see the Frito Light truck from that far away? Wow. But yeah, get the 29, then get your IRP, get a cab car, and you're good for another year. So, every whenever you started your authority or, or started your truck active, that's when your IRP normally goes active. So, mine's in uh, August. So, August 8th is when I started. That's when we started going on. But we got that all done. T Dubs did that for me, so that's awesome. And we also just did our IFTA for the second quarter. I will turn the internet on on my phone in a second. Are you trying to watch videos? How did you see that chip truck from so far away? Oh, oh, it went the other way. Okay, that was another chip truck. Because right, that's an ice cream truck in front of us. It was a red one? Wow. This is Blue Bell ice cream. That's some good stuff. You want some? Uh, maybe we'll get something on the way back. But right now, let's go get this stuff on a trailer, okay? All right. And there is Crab Du Jour which uh, T-Dubs is upset about because that used to be a flat iron steak or something like that that she used to go to and love, but now it's something different. We picked up here quite a couple times, quite a few times. Hankel, up here in Greenville, right by Furman University. Whoa, there we go. They're pretty quick on loading. You can get here before 3.30. You could probably get here up until four, but Safe just before three o'clock would be best. Right, let's see if we got the security guard. Do we get a little sticker, like a little name tag? And let's see what we got. Normally, he opens the gate and comes out and checks in. Speed bump. Took him about a minute, but if open the gate, there we go. We're ready to do it now. Give him our pickup number and our truck trailer number and they send us to the back. How we doing? We're going to Hankel, we're going to McDonough for Pegasus um, picking up. Truck 88, trailer 531-446. My name's Justin. Georgia, McDonough, 
It's called McDonough. It's south of Atlanta. McDonough. I know. <laughs> Some people call it McDonough, but McDonough. Door three? All right. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> He's like, McDonough, what? <laughs> McDonough. Place out there in south of Georgia. Right by uh, Haggai Diesel is where I rebuilt, rebuilt my motor and just does a lot of my engine work and anything else I need done. Uh, check them out. Griffin, Georgia. Haggai. H A G G A I. Haggai Diesel. watched any of my other videos pulling into here you kind of have to use this area to get your trailer around so come close to the left side make sure nobody's coming out or stay here until they get past you and then uh whip around so your trailer's facing back in there because there's not enough room back in there to turn around if there's any trucks back there if there's no trucks back there which there's one big truck back there international pro star um you won't be able to turn around so Especially with a sleeper truck. A day cab, maybe, but not a sleeper truck. Oh, need to find a gear. Let's go second gear. Here we go. Get up here. Cruise back around and get our trailer straight. And stare at the cuts. And I'll go back there and open my doors now. Before. I'll be right back. Stay here, okay? Stay here. I'll be right back. It's hot out here. Doors open first because... Uh, you don't want to have to open them when you get back there. But we're getting those right there. Little totes. Glue and stuff going down. And they already got door three open for me. Down to McDonough, south of Georgia. I left my strap in there. Eh, it's not too dirty. Couple, couple wood chips. Let's get into door three. We have the helper man here. He wanted to see if there's any vending machines in here. But no vending machines, right? Wait, we'll go to the store on the way out if you're a good boy. Get some kittens. All right, get off. Get back in there, Sticky. And we gotta put this on this. Pull that off. Put that in there with those down there. And lock. We're good. Good to go. Easy peasy. Yeah, man. It's like clockwork. Yes, sir. Thank you. Uh, Initial. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you. All right. Let's go put the seal on. And I think that'll wrap it for today, guys. We uh, got manure pulling out right here. We're going to put this seal on and uh, get this kid home. Maybe go swimming today. Who knows? We've had enough water time in the last uh, unplugged the phone. Enough water time at the lake, but uh, it's been a blessing. Thanks to all you guys. God bless you. And check out JustTrucking.shop. You can win that red race truck, my son's call it, with the LS1 and a 97 Silverado with a five-speed. Oh, we're giving away in December. But right now, we we'll get some glue over to Atlanta for the fine with Pegasus. And I hope I can clear this tree right here with my door. Let's see. Please clear. Please clear. Uh, barely. Let's see. Push it on through. Oh, yeah. We're good. Yeah, but check out this truck in that shot. Check out 3BB. That son that's with me right now, he is uh, probably the lead on it. He likes the cars the most. And uh, we're trying to start a little channel for them to have when they get older. Rebuilding old school cars. And right now we're doing a Trans Am. So God bless y'all. Thanks for tuning in today. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow from Atlanta. First, let's go get some more sun, I guess. I don't have enough at the pool. Bye. God bless you.